Welcome to the channel. This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us, and I'm going to take care of one of the bigger requests I've got recently, and we're going to take a look at the 13-inch MacBook Pro in relation to the 15-inch MacBook Pro and their size factor. Which one is more portable, easier to carry around? Uh, obviously, the 13-inch is going to be better with that, but, but just how much? Is it worth getting the 15 over the 13 if, say, maybe you need to carry it to work or school or on the go or... Uh, we're really going to try to break that down a little bit for you and help you decide which MacBook Pro is going to be better for what you need. Just having them on top of each other like this, you can see the 13 inch is much smaller than the 15 inch, so that's going to play a big part. Uh, size and weight are two big factors here. Uh, in, in terms of portability anyways. The 13 inch is 4.5 pounds. That's relatively light for a laptop computer that packs as much power as it does. This happens to be the 2010, but the 2011 with their i5 and i7 chips are significantly faster. The 15 inch below it is a 2011 and it's 5.6 pounds, so it's 1.2 pounds more. That's not bad, but you do notice it. Uh, I'm in high school. A lot of you, uh, my, my viewing audience, know that. I'm a senior this year. I carried this guy around with me. Not this specific one, but I did carry a 13-inch MacBook Pro around with me pretty much every day of my sophomore and junior year. Starting senior year, I have moved to the 15-inch. It has significantly more power. It does uh, everything that I need it to do in about a third or less of the time that the 13-inch took me to do it. But that's the big difference between the Core 2 Duo and the i7 Quad. Uh, for those of you who may not know, I've got the 2.2 and SSD and 8 gigs of RAM uh, in both right now. Well, actually, this is 4. No, it's not. They're both 8. Uh, beg my part. But uh, being used to carrying the 13-inch and moving to the 15-inch is a noticeable difference. Not only the size, it makes your backpack feel uh, a little bit more bulky. You can't carry as many books or papers or whatever you need to carry in there. Uh, the weight is the biggest factor here. And to be perfectly honest, it is nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I figured the thing would be falling off my back after standing up for our five minutes in between hauls. And quite honestly, it's really not that bad. If you've got to stand up with it for more than 10 minutes, you're going to have to take it off and put it on the floor. And unless you're walking and stuff, then it'd probably be okay. Uh, but it does get tiring. If you need to carry around between many classes in a day, it is possible your 13 inch is going to be a little bit better. But if you're really concerned about the 15 inch being simply too large to carry around with you uh, between campuses, classes, uh, you know, traveling in an airplane, stuff like that, uh, don't be. It's not as bad as I thought. The weight is not a big factor, uh, and neither is the, um, the, the physical size is it being this much more square, I guess, than the 13 inch. You notice it, yes, but it is not an incredible burden. Getting the portability factor out of the way, uh, this is not a 13 inch versus 15 inch in terms of specs and performance and stuff like that, but uh, more talking about portability, you are going to have a lot more power, uh, as most of you know, with your 15 inch. You're going to have a little bit less battery power, but a lot more uh, pro processing power. Um, you can get bigger hard drives in it, of course you could upgrade your 13 inch. Uh, the biggest thing, though, would be the graphics and the processor, as well as your screen real estate. I noticed a big difference in 15 over 13 inches, and then, of course, I went for the high res, which is 1680 by 1050 versus 1280 by 800. That is a monumental difference in anything. Web browsing, uh, anything you do on the computer is so much nicer with the high resolution uh, display. But that's to be expected. You gain two more inches, you gain, it's probably about twice the pixels, not quite, but it's a lot more pixels to deal with. Uh, the 15 inch is a better computing experience. The 17 inch, however, that is the one that is virtually unusable off your desk. It is way too big. I never owned one, but every time I go in the Apple store, even still having a 15 inch, I pick it up and it, it just feels like a semi truck compared to, say, a 5 series. You know me. So, uh, the 13 inch is your best one for carrying around, but the 15 inch is not going to be a problem. Obviously, the ultimate solution to this would be the 13 or 11 inch MacBook Air. Of course, those don't have the power, they do not have the connectivity and stuff like that. Uh, but if you're solely looking for something that you can practically fit in your pants pocket without anybody asking you about it, then you're probably going to want to go with the 11 inch Air. If you want more power and you know, move up from there to your MacBook Pros and look at the 13 and the 15. Obviously, the best way to figure out which is going to be best for you, go into your local Apple store, pick one up, feel it, use it for a little bit in the store, and uh, I hope this video could help you uh, make your decision. So leave any comments or questions down below. Send me an email, ryan at techinform.us. Check out our site, techinform.us, and then my personal Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. 
Thanks so much, guys. Subscribe if you like the channel. Check out the new channel based off the BMW E39 5 Series. It's called E39 Source. The link is down below. Please subscribe if that's your thing. I've got new videos coming up uh, dealing with brake rotors on the front, performance slotted rotors, as well as uh, a new e-brake inside. That's one of the bigger things with the 97 through 2000 M5s. They used an e-brake in there that would wear off. It looks awful. So I've got mine in the mail. And uh, again, thanks. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Thursday. Bye-bye.